John Polnick here at Esserman Volkswagen in Miami, Florida, which happens to be one of many stops on a 9,000 mile test ride to determine the greenest car in America. Let's do the close. So, Green here with John on Portland, Portland Green Test Drive. We're talking with John here. Uh, John, this is, the, this is the diesel car. What do you know about diesels? I don't know, the idea of diesels remind, makes me think that, first of all, it's extremely powerful. I always think of trucks and smoke. Yeah. That's really what I think of. A lot of, of smoke, is, right? Like those giant factories just spewing. What do you think would happen <laughs> if you took something like this, which is a, just a Kleenex type thing, and put it inside the, the, the pipe of something like one of those big diesel trucks that you see on the road? Obviously, it's going to be filthy. It's yeah, disgusting. It's going to be filthy. Right. Because that's what diesels are, right? Yeah, naturally. Okay, well, this car is a diesel. So take that. And I want you to put that inside the pipe. This car has around 3,500 miles on it in all kinds of weather. Uh, we've driven this car straight from Portland, all right. Maine, and now we're in Miami. Let's see this. Relatively spotless. So there it is. Weird. I mean, you know, the diesel power uh, is much cleaner than it used to be. In fact, it's 90% cleaner than it, than it was uh, just from the model year before to the new 09 TDI. Uh, Jenna, they really did a good job of making sure that the new Jetta TDI uh, is really is really good for the environment. I mean, this car uh, is just as clean as the as the Prius. Uh, we don't have a bunch of batteries uh, that are you know, that are going to go into some uh, landfill yeah. at the end of the day. Uh, when the when the when the Jetta is going 200,000 miles, we've seen TDIs, older style TDIs, going for 150, 250, 300,000 miles. We even talked to a guy in some other state who had one for 400,000 miles. I mean, the TDI technology is not, it's not like this is rocket science technology. The great thing is it's been around for a long time and and it's just, it's reliable. But we've been averaging in in the range of the, in the 40s. It really, I mean, we've been driving all kinds of conditions. So sometimes it's way lower. Uh -huh. uh, you know, we're going through mountains and, and we're late to, uh, to one of our events. So we're stomping on it. But we've never seen less than 35 miles per gallon in either of the cars. Uh, you know, so uh, the other thing, that, that, you know, but usually we're getting in the 40s. It's usually somewhere in that 40, 41, 42. Uh, when we really feel like pushing it, when we have long straightaways, or, or and we're really going to get in this in the next stretch because we're going to have long straightaways going through Texas. Yeah. Uh, and we've done tests like this before. Uh, we anticipate getting in the 50s. You get the power, you get the performance, you get the fuel economy. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, just go with the pragmatic side of your brain. You can actually go with the emotional side of driving. If you like cars, uh, if you like driving, you like German cars, uh, then the Jetta is the way to go. The Jetta TDI is everything uh, that any other performance Jetta, uh, performance Volkswagen would be. Uh, it just happens to get way better gas mileage. Yeah, yeah.